Today I'm going to share a little bit about how to create text inside your website. So yes, we're going to be actually putting stuff inside our website now that we can see inside the browser. Now we talked a bit about different HTML elements in the previous video. And in this video, we're going to talk a bit about how to create text content, but also how to properly put HTML elements around them to tell the browser what type of text this is. So when it comes to opening your website inside the browser, because this is probably something you have been you know, questioning for the past three or four videos or how, however many I've made so far. Well, the simple way to do it is just to go inside your website folder. This is called a root folder, by the way, because this is the, the root of your website. Uh, so if I go inside my portfolio website here and right click on index.html, go to open with, and then go to any of the browsers. In my case, I'm gonna use Google Chrome. So I'm gonna click it. And then you can see it actually opens up here so I can actually see it inside my browser. And it doesn't require any sort of internet or anything like that to actually see the website inside the browser. A lot of people think that in order to make websites, you do need to have an online connection. That is not true. All the different content that is locally on your computer and is not something you link to online is gonna show inside the website locally without internet. So with this, this is our website so far. This is a completely empty page with nothing inside of it. So let's go ahead and start creating some content for it. So what I can do is I can go inside my editor and I can go ahead and create some text here. So I can say, this is a title exclamation mark. And if I were to go ahead and save this, which by the way is very important to do, a lot of people that are doing things and write in my comment section that, oh, I made this inside HTML and it's not showing inside my browser, a lot of cases they forgot to save the document. So make sure you save it, which is control S for a shortcut or command S if you're on Mac, go inside the browser. And then you want to make sure you refresh the browser. So I'm gonna click refresh and then you can actually see I have some text up here. Now in my case here, because I'm using a very large resolution monitor, it's gonna be very small for you to see. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what is going on. But essentially we have a title at the top of the website here that says, this is a title. Am I the only one here who's getting like their eyes burned out because this is a white background? <laughs> So if I were to go back inside my text editor and I want to say, well, this is a simple paragraph, then how does the browser know which one is a title, which is a very important piece of text and which one is a paragraph, which is just a, a minor piece of text inside your website? Well, if I were to go inside the website and refresh the, the page so we can actually see the new paragraph, you can see it looks exactly the same. So visually, we can't tell the difference between them. You know, it's only because of the text and because we have human brains that we understand which one's the title and which one's the paragraph, but the browser is dumb. Like the browser doesn't know anything. So how does the browser know which one is going to be the title and which one is going to be the paragraph? Well, we need to mark it up with HTML for the browser to know that. So going inside our body tag, which is where we have the text here, I'm going to open up a H1 tag and I'm just gonna click enter here. And as you can see, we have something called a header one. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in my text. So it's in between these two different tags. And the H1 tag is the most important piece of text inside the page that you have open right now. Uh, it's not the most important piece of text inside the entire website, but inside the particular page you right now have open, the H1 tag is going to be the most important piece of text in there. And the reason this is important is because you can only have one H1 tag inside your page. Now, I say that, but if I were to copy paste this and you know paste it below here, is it gonna show both inside the website and you know not give any kind of errors? Yes, it is. It's gonna show the first one, it's gonna show the second one. So why do I say that you cannot use an H1 tag twice? Well, because it's gonna ruin your semantics. Again, we're talking semantics every episode now, but essentially whenever you go to Google and you want to you know search for something and that search word that someone searched is inside the very important title inside your website, Google is actually going to do the opposite if you have more than one, Google is going to unoptimize your page. So the text in here is not important in any sort of way. So it's very important that you only use one H1 tag inside your website. So what if I want to use a, another title, but it's not as important as this one. So let's say, you know, this first one up here is, this is a very important title. But this one below here is just a simple title. 
then how do I tag these in a way that this is still gonna be seen as important, but it's not going to be the most important piece of text in here? Well, we can do that using a H2 tag. So you'll kind of notice a pattern here that whenever I have a piece of like a title that becomes less and less important, for example, this could be like uh, the main text that you see as soon as you get into the website. And this one down here could maybe be a smaller uh, paragraph that has you know a small description of what exactly to find inside this particular page. And then you might have this piece of text down here, which is an H3, which might be a header to a particular section further down the page. So, you know, we're getting less and less important here, but still these are titles. Then you just keep going up in number when it comes to these header elements. Now, it is important to point out here that you can only go so far to create a H6. You can't go any further than that because then it's not going to work anymore. So let's just go ahead and create the last one down here. Again, make sure that these are named correctly. So this one is H5 and then this one is H6. If we were to go ahead and show this inside the web page, you can actually see that the browser is seeing these as different important. It is automatically giving them a smaller and smaller title because it knows that this one is the important one and then you know it becomes less and less important as we go down. Um, it's very important you don't use H1 tags to make your text bold inside your website. So if you want something to be bold, because you can see this text is bold compared to a paragraph, then don't use H tags for that because that is something you should be doing using a style sheet and not using HTML because it has like default styling over it. Um, that is a very bad way of using semantics inside your website. So don't do that. So having talked about headers, what do we do when it comes to a paragraph? Well, in that case, we want to create something called a paragraph tag. And a paragraph tag is just going to be like just normal text inside your website. Uh, this is not, you know, important in any way. Like Google will still see this as, you know, relevant text but it's not as important as these headers up here. So, you know, using a paragraph tag is something you will be doing very frequently inside your website. Uh, if we were to go back inside the browser and just kind of refresh, you can see that the styling down here changes. Uh, actually, it does not change because the styling is the same. So, you know, right now, this is just a simple paragraph that, you know, is just regular text inside your website. The last thing I want to show you here is that you can also go ahead and jump to next line using HTML when you had text like this. So if I were to go down to my paragraph here and just simply go in and create a break, which is a BR tag, then you'll notice that this is going to make it jump down to the next line. And this is what we call an empty element, which we talked about in the last video. So essentially here, if I were to save this and go inside my browser, you can now see that we jump down to the next line. So if you want to create a you know, next line sort of thing that you can use a break for that. So with that, we pretty much talked about what I wanted to discuss in this video here. Hopefully it's not too long. So with that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. At the end here, I'd love to say thank you to all the different patrons and YouTube members who is actually supporting the channel, as well as a special thanks to Kelly Corve, who's actually sponsoring the channel for the month. So thank you so much. Uh, the channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all the different members. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.